All right, come on in, hit the like button, and think about subscribing if you're already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion and review for the 2024 Western thriller film called Place of Bones. And this is a budget, small budget, independent film as far as I could tell. Now here's a plot. On a remote ranch in the Old West, a woman and her daughter must fight for survival when a wounded outlaw brings a notorious bank robber and his ruthless gang uh, right to their doorstep. Now here's some of the cast. Pandora and her daughter Hessler. Those are some very bizarre names for a for characters that I have recalled. Um, but uh, Heather Graham's performance was surprisingly good throughout. Most of the film took place on their farm, with a couple scenes outside of the farm area. So kind of made the film feel slowly paced at first. The story itself was good for a little dependent low budget film and also looked fantastic too. Although, acti although the acting and dialogue is what pushed the film forward. I will say there was a couple times it got comical with the over the top performance scenes involving the guy the two uh, women were taking care of in the first half of the film. Which honestly makes sense considering that's a, a mo almost common thing with the actor that played him, aka Corn Nimwick. Uh, I, 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 he has that face and sound that I, I'm pretty sure I'm correct on that. That a lot of his his, his uh, stuff, he does his characters he does is just kind of over the top at times. Um, uh, it, it was really comical. This one part in there where about. I'm not going to spoil it, but honestly, it wasn't really that bad for a small budget film. It, it was just the story felt a little thin and slow for the first half of a one hour and 33 minute film. But even within the dialogue was great and towards the mid to final act, it started getting to the better stuff. Here is my uh, rating and I'll come back to my final thoughts. A very interesting film, did feel straightforward of a story but wouldn't go as far as to say it's a generic story, but also wouldn't call this a thriller, definitely a western drama, with a twist. But uh, as a whole, it was surprisingly good and I do recommend it. Um, it definitely got more and more better as you went on. And um, I, you know, it was a good length for a film with the way we got. and. Um, yeah, so it, it's a very good and interesting Western. Um, it's not like one of those bang, 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 boom, 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 let's go fast type of, of, of Westerns. Um, um, but uh, it's definitely a kind of a, or a romantic one. It was more of a, again, a Western drama. Uh, kind of a small budget film with very good looking a look to it. Uh, good quality to it. Uh, even the the bolts hitting stuff actually wasn't really that fake looking. Um, even though when you're doing this for so long, you can uh, it's a habit of already telling that it, it's fake, so it kind of has a little bit of bias. But I think it really, really does a good job for it. Um, the acting all the way around was good. Uh, the again the guy I, for, I now forgot his name. Um, he he was good. But it was more of his character that was good. But I think when it came to certain parts, he did went away a little overboard with the stuff. But either way, it was a good film. It was a good film. I was actually surprised about how, how interesting and good it was for what it was. Now, is it perfect? No, 100%. Nothing really is when it's an independent film. That's kind of a thing. But this is definitely up there. Um, but as always, leave your thoughts down below. Um... That is all I have for you for now. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be taking the week off or what. So it's just kind of up in there with my health. So, uh, But anyways, I love you all. Please stay safe. Spread the love most importantly. Skull.